Yeah. What's that thing that I was holding? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Which patient are you talking about? Ward 11, they are acute appendicitis. No, 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 she's not going to theater. Um, she's not going to theater. Have you read her file? No. So what happened was that, so she was transferred, well referred yesterday from the clinic with an acute appendicitis, then she was booked for theater, but I re-examined her, did an ultrasound, and then her appendix is perfectly fine. However, she does have a inflammation on a gallbladder, which is indicative of a prognosis of an acute cholecystitis. So I uh, did bloods. I'm still waiting for the bloods. You can check if they're not out yet. And then also x-ray. But yeah, it's not appendix. It's uh, cholecystitis. Yeah, in Aculus. Yeah, I gave her bloods. Not bloods, man. Um, what's this thing? Fluids. Yeah, please ask theater not that she's not going to theater. I'll be there like in an hour. No stress. She's a PPH. Yeah, she developed a PPH and then um, lost one point something years. Yeah, one thing about it, Dr. Matthew Sana, he will not back down for nobody. The only people that could stop them are security or police officers. Otherwise, you guys there on TikTok will keep feeding you lies after lies after lies. Now, the way, okay, so this video was days back, like two days back now, um, where he is pretending to be talking to this nurse regarding this patient. <laughs> anyway, the way you guys are di diagnosing this guy there by the comments section on my previous videos, I am convinced that some of you guys identify as Abo Dogotela, just like oh, Dr. Matthew, because no ways. So you guys are telling me, what you? When someone said, this guy has a personality disorder. And I'm like, okay, personality disorder, sharp. But why is it Ms. Kala, he knows exactly who he is. Ms. Kala, he's no longer a doctor. Ms. Kala, he's admitting what he he was wrong for this, he was wrong for that. Because selective personality disorder. When he's on TikTok, he identifies as someone else. When he gets caught, the story totally changes. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Yes, in class in Bege, Yabola Babati mental illness. I, I, and I'm not saying the mental illness, the serious one. Look, Gulanji, Yabo, Mesmund, we are Gulawen, we are Gulawen, Yabo, we are Gulawen. I lay a dinga, e Ugotai Viscopis, look, Gulanje, look, Umutu Jonga Pilangan, to our Pilangan, when I, or Pilangan, who suffers from that mental illness, not the serious one because this guy knows exactly what he's doing there is no one nobody who would um sell medication medicine to a bunch of people online claiming to be a collecting money i be able to go to pep transfer the orders but masebandra hi guys maybe he has he's suffering from mental in i usileka dr meth usileka the other day, I was just reading the comments on his um, social media platforms. Can you believe that there are a lot of people, there are still a lot of people who believe and I'm thinking if he gets a bail and he comes back at TikTok and he gives the explanation to say, no guys, I was arrested because A, B, and C, not because A, B, and C. There are some people... There are some of his fans that are going to buy that. There are some of his fans that are going to believe that. Someone said underneath the comment section, no, guys, reading the comments 
we should these people that are still protecting believing this guy they should not be allowed to vote next year because no ways we cannot trust their decisions as a sabatembi as sisabatembi there is no way after everything that has came out where now you still believe oh dr matthew how njani njani sana njani <laughs> and I do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below. I will be of course keeping you guys updated um with the story, alright? Hopefully it will be televised because this is interesting.